Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a collective haul of key pieces. So these are all items that I bought over the past few weeks slash month or so, and it's a mix of items. So I have mainly accessories here. I have a few handbags to share with you, a couple of pairs of shoes, and also a couple of coats that I bought for when the weather turns a little bit colder. And this video kind of kicks off my autumn slash fall, depending on where you live, fashion series. So I have a whole bunch of videos coming up on autumn trends and fashion fashion, styling videos, shopping tips, a little bit of everything. So keep an eye out for that if you are in the mood for some autumn inspiration and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I'm not going in any particular order and if you watch my video on what bag trends I'm going to be buying and skipping this season, none of these bags are going to come as a surprise to you because I mentioned them all in that video. So I'm me ticking a few things off my wish list. Most items I got from Luisa Villaroma, I have been taking advantage of their reward system. I've spoken about it before, but if you guys aren't signed up, it's just the best thing. You basically accrue points every time you make a purchase and then you can convert those points into gift vouchers. And it's so, so generous. And obviously I shop a lot, but every single time I convert points, I always get, you know, a 200 pound gift voucher, a 300 pound gift voucher. So it's really substantial and generous. So I would absolutely recommend signing up if you haven't already. This bag, as you can see, it's from Prada and I did end up getting, oh my goodness, how pretty. It is the Prada bucket bag in the mini size in this beautiful blue color. I am a sucker for this color. I've had a few bags and a few coats in this shade and I just think it's the loveliest shade of blue. It's kind of like a cornflower blue, but it's so versatile. It really goes with everything I feel, even though, you know, it's not exactly a neutral. It just seems to go with so many different things and I love it. I think it's just such a pretty pop of color without being too much. I am so, so in love with this. So I'm gonna fully unwrap it. And it's such a dinky size. I think this is the strap. Oh, it's a really nice strap as well. The leather is really nice and soft, so hopefully it'll be very comfortable to wear. And let me get scissors. So you have the little Prada luggage tag right here with the Prada sign. You obviously have the Prada logo right there as well. And on the inside, there is some more tissue paper. And that is what it looks like on the inside. So you do have the middle compartment and then you can close it with these two fastings right here, I believe. Yeah, so it's a little magnetic closure and it's actually very, very strong. So it is much more secure than you'd think. You'd think it was just like an open kind of tote, but it's really not, it's very secure with the magnetic closure. And this is what it looks like with the strap. I am so, so in love with this. I think it's so cute. I love how well made it feels as well. You do have the little rivets on the bottom, so it's gonna protect the base of it. The leather is beautiful. Obviously, Prada leather is always a pretty durable and hardy. You also have these softer bits of leather on the side there. Just the attention to detail is so beautiful. It's very light as well. And I just think this is cute as a button. So, so excited about this, very much in love with the color and it's just the cutest little bag, I think. Next up, I'm gonna be sharing with you the coats that I got. So the first one is from Reese and I thought this was so beautiful. I haven't taken the tags off either of these because I have ordered additional sizes for both. Um, so I am trying the size up from this just because it fits, but it's a little bit snug. So with sweaters, I think it might be too small. So I've ordered the size up just to see if that's slightly better. And it's the opposite with the other one. So I've ordered the size down, but they still fit. So I'll still try them on because you'll be able to see what they look like on me. But I thought both of these were so beautiful and you know, they weren't super cheap, but coats can be like super, super expensive. So I thought for what they were, they were both really good value. And I thought this was so beautiful. I've been looking for a kind of neutral coat and this one was actually listed as a pink color. So I was a bit worried. I didn't want like a proper pink, but for me, this is just a neutral. It's much more beige than pink. And I thought it was so lovely. I love single breasted coats, especially when they're super tailored. I think they just have a much more kind of streamlined cut to them. So I love the fact this is single breasted. It is lined, it's beautifully made. The material is absolutely gorgeous. And then on the back, it has a really nice cut and finish as well. Has the open slit on the back. 
and I just thought this was the perfect, perfect coat. So very excited to have found this. I thought it was beautiful. And again, for the price, you know, it wasn't super cheap, but I actually think it's really, really good value for money considering the quality that you're getting. Next up is this beautiful blue coat. I thought this was so lovely. I fell in love with the color. Obviously very similar to my Prada bag. It's not exactly the same shade of blue, but it's definitely the same color family, obviously on a little bit of a blue kick, but I thought this was the loveliest shade. So pretty and fresh and just an unexpected kind of autumn color, I think. So I love this. This is the one where I'm trying the neck size down. It is more of a kind of oversized boxy fit anyway, but I don't like my things to be too oversized. So I'm just trying the neck size down to see if it is a little bit more snug in a good way. Um, but I absolutely love this. How lovely. This one is more of a kind of casual coat, I feel, just because it is that more thicker wool style, but I love it and this is the kind of thing that you can wear with the sleeves rolled up if you wanted to to make it a bit more casual you can have them down just really versatile and again this color just so lovely so fresh for fall or autumn and i am fully fully hooked on all these blues next up are two pairs of shoes i got these both from louise via roma and they're both by manolo blanick one is a new season pair and the other one is one of their more kind of classic lines so first up these are the seasonal ones here is the dust bag. And on the inside, got these beautiful sling backs. I've been wanting more heels which have a more kind of medium heel height because I have a lot of heels but a lot of them are like four inches high so not really good for everyday walking so I wanted some shoes that did have a heel height but weren't absolutely ridiculous and I thought these were perfect I love the look of them how beautiful and elegant are these I love a pointed toe I think they're so flattering and they look so great with both dresses and skirts and jeans as well you do have the buckle right here they are black suede all over you have that really nice heel height so you do get a little bit of a height boost but again I imagine I'm going to be able to walk in these all day long which is exactly what I wanted them for and then you do have the sling back as well so beautiful and obviously these are a bit too fancy to be just like run around shoes but you know if you do have your all day with meetings or you just have kind of an all day event or something I think these are perfect and just so so beautiful so very very excited about these just such a lovely shoe and i feel like manolo bannock heels are just so well made and just so elegant in style so absolutely in love with these and the other pair of manolos i got are as i mentioned one of their classic lines so you have the louise Birama tag you have the manolo bannock dust bag but these actually came in their own little individual dust bag and inside are their very classic and beautiful flats. I love this style. I think they are so, so beautiful. I do have a silver velvet pair and I love those, but they are a little bit too small for me. So I decided to size up half size and these are a much better fit. But I do feel like Manolo Bannock really vary in sizing. So in my heels, I go for 37 and a half and they fit perfectly. In flats, this time I went for 38 and a half. So a full size up, but these are so, so comfortable. I've already tried them on and they're a much better fit than my other ones which are a 38 so very happy with these i can still wear my velvet ones but again like because they are a tiny bit small they do pinch after a while so these are much more comfortable i've wanted a black satin pair for a while just because i think they'll be able to go with much more and i do feel like my velvet ones are a little bit christmasy so hopefully i'll be able to wear these all year round i love the buckle i think they are just so beautiful and stunning yes these are expensive shoes but you know this style has been around for so many years i just don't think it's going anywhere and yeah just very very happy with these so I feel like my reasonable heel height shoe wardrobe has had a major upgrade I'm very much in love with both these new styles down to my last two items and these are both Saint Laurent bags so again if you watch that video of mine where I discuss kind of upcoming bag trends that I'm going to be buying into these won't come as any surprise that both of these I talked about they both came in Saint Laurent boxes so the first one is here has the Saint Laurent dust bag. 
then inside is their uptown clutch. I finally tracked one of these down. I wasn't sure about sizing. I did want a white clutch. I was debating between this one and their more kind of larger wallet on a chain style, the one that I have in pink. But I decided to give this go because the price point was so much better. It's only 300 pounds, which for something from Saint Laurent, like an actual clutch, I feel like that is unbelievably good value for money. I even showed it to Dan, and Dan does not believe in kind of luxury items or spending that much money on things. And even he was like, wow, that's a really good price for that. I'm like, right? Like, I just think it's such a good price for what is still clearly, you know, a luxury item and luxury pricing, but the other clutches are like a thousand. So I do feel like this is a good deal. I was concerned it was going to be too small, but actually the size is pretty substantial. So this is my phone. And you can see like it's pretty big like that isn't super tiny at all yes it is more on the flat side so you can't fit like a ton in it but i'm just going to show you what it looks like with my phone inside so the phone doesn't stretch out at all i feel you can't fit a ton of items in here because it is so slim but you can fit in a lip product cards cash phone, that sort of thing. It has a very nice magnetic closure as well. It's very, very seamless. I feel like it looks like it's beautifully made. I love the YSL, it's very shiny and bold. The leather is absolutely beautiful. And again, I just feel like they priced this super well. So very, very happy with this, especially as I was considering, you know, getting the wallet on a chain for over a thousand, I think it is. I feel like this is a much better value option and it's exactly what I wanted. You know, I just wanted a very simple white clutch, very neutral, that'll go with pretty much everything. And I feel like I exactly have that. So super, super happy and excited about this. This does come in a few other colors. So I also saw it in black and in the mock crop, which is beautiful. I really wanted a white one, but I think all the options are great. And I just think this is a winning style from Saint Laurent. And for my last bag, which again is also Saint Laurent, this one I also got from Louise Via Roma. And inside is the box. This one also came with a Saint Laurent box. Size the dust bag. And this one is also a white bag. Clearly went for a white and blue theme in this haul video. But here it is. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But it is their new camera bag style. I thought this was so lovely. I've been eyeing this up for a while. I love this new style. In fact, I'm loving pretty much everything that Saint Laurent is doing. I feel like I said the exact same thing last year, but I feel like autumn winter is really where Saint Laurent come into their own. They just do the most amazing fabrics and styles and I just love them. It has the tab on it. I'm gonna unwrap all the bits. And here it is without any of the tissue paper. So you do have this beautiful tassel right here. I love this. I think it makes such a statement. And you have the YSL logo. It is their kind of more pebbled grain leather. So I think it's gonna be super durable, even though it's obviously a very light color. You do have this halfway pocket on the back. And then you have the zip, which is very, very smooth. And that's what the tassel is attached to. And even though it is obviously a mini bag, you know, it is quite small in terms of the look of it. The capacity really isn't bad at all. Like you can fit quite a bit in there. I think it's because it opens up so wide. So the zipper actually finishes quite a way down. So you do get that nice wide opening and you do have some card slots right here. You have the Saint Laurent stamping. The leather on the inside is beautiful. Hopefully it'll be nice and durable as well. Obviously it's just a nice simple black lining. But yeah, I love this. I thought it was so, so nice. I love the fact that it looks a little bit more vintage as well. You know, these really remind me of the classic Chanel styles from kind of the 80s, but it still feels very modern as well. I thought this was so lovely. I love the gold hardware as well. You know, it's this really pretty gold, so it makes it a little bit more dressy, but I still feel like it can work as a casual bag as well. So hopefully it will be very versatile. You have the leather strap also, so hopefully it will be very comfortable. This comes in a few different colors. I've seen the black and the red, I believe. I just wanted the white. I thought that was the prettiest and I'm just into white bags now apparently, but yeah, I thought this was so, so lovely. Just another win from Saint Laurent. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave links to everything I featured down below in the description section. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment down below. If you enjoy these collective hauls, please do give this a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.